subscribe. Hi everybody. So in video 1952 we took this thing which is a USB powered PC fan and we stuck this on it which is a toroidal propeller. And it was astounding the result it gave us. It was very much quieter. You could just hear it. And of course fans for cooling are one of the biggest sellers there are with that main problem being they're just so noisy. But the problem with using fans for cooling, of course, is it's, it's okay if the air's blowing over you and your sweat can evaporate, that's what keeps you cool. But after a certain stage, the air gets so hot that you're effectively sitting in a fan oven when you're doing that, because all you're doing is blowing hot air over yourself. And of course, what you want to do in a situation like that is cool the air before you blow it and that is effectively how air conditioning works. Now it's really easy to do and there's lots of YouTube videos on how basically to fill a bucket with ice, take a PC fan, blow the air over that ice and give it a hose where the cold air comes out and you point that hose at you. They're really successful and extremely popular and they work, but they use a noisy PC fan. So I was mulling this one over because we have actually done this already. Luke made one of these and it made me think, well, yeah, that's really, really great, but how about we use that toroidal fan replacement idea and stick it on there and see if we get the same cooling effect, but it is much, much quieter. Of course, I live in the UK where the need for that kind of cooling isn't very excessive. We need it for a few weeks in the summer. When they make these things, very often use a cool box because you want to keep the ice cool so that it's only melting from the hot air that you're blowing on it. If you put it in a normal tub, of course, it'll melt because the environment is hot. So you use a cool box, you insulate it, you blow the hot air over it, and you're left with a big lump of plastic. And it made me think, well, how about we try this, which is a cool bag. So we can fold that cool bag up when we're not using it and pack it away. We've got ourselves a little portable, pack awayable air conditioning unit for cooling the air down before we blow it over ourselves and for it not being terribly, terribly noisy and repu reputedly cheaper to run too. So let's give that a go. So of course I turned to Tinkercad and designed this and then just the parts you're going to need that we're going to strap onto the cool bag to make our portable pack away air conditioning unit. Let's print those out. Somebody said to me what do you do about toroidal fans if you don't have a 3D printer? Well remember these things have already been made using PC fans so you could just use a PC fan but if you want the advantage of a toroidal, print, uh, toroidal propeller then you're going to have to make the toroidal propeller. But these things aren't new, they've been around since the 1890s. The issue with them is that they're difficult to mass manufacture. You have to be a bit more careful in the hand forming of them and that makes them not quite as easy to make as a propeller blade, but you can make them. So you'd have to make one by hand if you don't have a 3D printer. Because we've got 3D printers, they're amazingly easy to use, so I tend to print this stuff. Now we've printed our parts, we can actually stick them on anything, including a hard box. But I want this collapsible idea, at least I want to explore this collapsible idea. So I've got a cool bag and I'm going to glue them onto this cool bag. I say glue, but I'm going to glue them there to help. And then they've all got holes in them, so we're going to punch through the holes and bolt on the retaining ring on the back with some M4 bolts and then slice out the cloth. So that's the plan, let's get on with it. Then one. These are M4 bolts, incidentally, and there's eight of them. So when we've done that, we have to slice through that cloth. Now, the motor is already glued in place. It's just a spot of glue on the motor and because the wire has to get trapped here. So, of course, when you're slicing through, be careful not to slice the wire. Only slice through. That's what we get. Now the fan goes right on there like that. And we're obviously going to fit the cowls. To get the motor, here's what we need to do. Of course, we need to separate the fan out. Now, if you've got a 3D printer, you've got one of these, some snips. And you just snip around everything. Obviously, try your best not to snip the wires. Otherwise, you'll have to get yourself a new fan. Snip it out. And then remove this centre section just by snipping close to it. So there are four of them. You snip them off and the fan will drop out. 
There we go, that's the bit we want. Then we need to remove these blades, and the blades are really easy, just snip them again and they'll just fly off. When we've done that, what we get is our Blue Peter previously prepared one, and that is the central motor from a PC fan that plugs into a USB, and I put an indent in there, so that just shoves straight on there. So in the same way that I put this on, I put two vents in either side about halfway down the bag, one there and one there, and that's it finished. So we close that up, the air is drawn in, goes over the ice and cools, and gets blown at you through these vents, which is the way it should work. So the only thing to do now is put in some ice and go and find a USB port. Okay, so there it is, let's plug it into the USB port and see what happens. I have to look because it's so quiet. That's quite amazing. So it's nine degrees centigrade that is the air that it's blowing out. And my ambient, it's 21 degrees centigrade. So we're getting this huge reduction in temperature. And it's not a surprise, eh? we're blowing air over ice, which is exactly how your air conditioning works. And of course, you could do lots of modifications on this. I mean, I've used this um, toroidal propeller because, listen to it. You could use a PC fan by all means. You could use different kinds of boxes, a rigid box. I like this soft box because obviously we can chuck the ice away and fold it up for um, the winter until next summer. So I guess it's also a camping AC, which would be another cool thing. And it's rechargeable, isn't it? Because the minute the ice is gone, we just put more ice in, we're recharging our AC. And it runs off a USB. Anyway. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you very much for watching and please do remember to like and subscribe.